The Maharashtra government has extended the coronavirus lockdown till July 31st amid a steady growth in the COVID-19 numbers in the state. Issuing fresh guidelines for what it called Mission Begin Again, the government said that the movement for non-essential activities will be restricted within the neighbourhoods in the Mumbai metropolitan region. Hitting out at the Congress for its criticism on the issues of national security and economy, Union Minister Mukhtar Abbas Nakvi on Monday said that the opposition party is unable to digest the fact that there is a strong government at the centre which cannot be remote controlled. All four terrorists who attacked the Pakistan Stock Exchange in Karachi this morning have been shot dead, the police said. The gunmen attacked the building, which is in a high security zone that also houses the head offices of many private banks with grenades and guns, Karachi police chief told news agency Reuters. Four security guards, a policeman and a bystander were also killed, according to a statement from the Karachi police, news agency AFP reported. The Delhi government will create a plasma bank to fight coronavirus, Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal said today, urging those who have recovered from the infection to donate plasma to help other patients. He also assured that the state government will arrange convenience to the plasma bank for those willing to donate. He assured that there is no risk in going to the plasma bank. He also announced Rs 1 crore for the kin of Dr. Asim Gupta, who died due to COVID at LNJP Hospital. Jammu and Kashmir-based hardline separatist leader Saeed Ali Shakilani, under house arrest since last August, resigned as the chairman of Hurriyat Conference on Monday. The 90-year-old Gilani said that there have been certain issues which forced him to resign. He announced his departure in an audio message. Several international airlines, including Qatar Airways, have initiated a probe against the Pakistani employees and grounded them till further notice after authorities here reported that as many as 262 pilots were holding fake licenses, a media reporter said last week, a cash-strapped Pakistan International Airlines grounded 150 pilots with dubious licenses after the preliminary report of the Karachi plane crash on May 22nd blamed the pilots and the air traffic control for the tragedy that killed 97 people.